Hello everybody, welcome to From the Couch and today's tutorial day, Monday and I just before I get into everything I just want to show you guys we got interviewed on Line 25 a blog started by the legend Spoonster, uh, Chris Spooner and he basically just asks us about um, we're not freelancers from the couch and Obox so if you're interested pop on by, have a look, have a read, drop a comment show us some dig love, some float love and um, yeah we appreciate it anyway let's get straight into it today I'm going to teach you guys about sprites okay CSS sprites to be particular and um, basically what they are is images which have been grouped onto one sort of GIF or JPEG which you can use across your site um, it's better for load times especially if you've got hover effects for your um, hrefs and that's what I'm basically going to show you today um, what you must do is you must create your images which are you must take all the images you've created for your site sorry and group them onto one canvas and try export them as a GIF with a transparent background okay um, with obox design if we just go there quick obox designcom um, I've used sprites for all the headers the buttons pretty much everything and um, in this case I had to use PNGs which I may be changing because the load times a bit on the long side but if you notice like the hover time for the menu it's um, non-existent I mean like the load time when you hover that's because we're using sprites okay basically it, you take your canvas and you position the background image um, in a particular way that you know the, the image will appear correctly and there's no overflow anyway it's awesome I'm going to show you guys how to do it now so what we have here is our image and um, I've exported it as a transparent GIF stuck it in here into our uh, screencaster and what I have here is a blank basically a blank HTML page which we're gonna do some sprites so since they're buttons okay um, let's do the hrefs a href let's put a hash there for now class button one and then let's do another one button two because we get two buttons okay the pink one and the blue one and um, they're going to be separate from each other and when you hover over number two is going to appear for each state okay anyway so that's button one let's do button two okay from there they both can have the same background image but the background image is, is going to be placed in a different position so let's go into the style sheet and start creating our sprite buttons so since they hrefs we go a dot button underscore one and a dot button underscore two basically what I'm doing here is I'm just minimizing the HTML code since they both have the same widths heights and they use the same background image I can define a lot of styles for both of them in um, uh, one area so what we need to do is get the width and height of our buttons okay so the width and height is 60 pixels by 60 pixels I'm sorry that you can't see it on the screen it's my bad with the cropping of the cam studio but anyway the height and width of these buttons is 60 pixels so let's do width 60 pixels height 60 pixels and because it's a href uh, button we need to say that display is equal to a block okay that will basically um, allow to display 60 pixels high and 60 pixels in width okay from there we need to insert our background image which is this whole thing here so let's do that background URL and take the buttons and we press OK and they mustn't repeat and we must also say overflow is hidden that means that anything um, over and above the 60 pixels height and width will not show okay even though the actual image is let's just see the dimensions here is 160 pixels by 140 pixels we only wanted to display 60 pixels by 60 pixels okay 
So I'm just going to save that and we're going to go into the HTML page and press F5 and you'll realize that I've got two buttons there, or two sort of images. They both show this area of the image on our in the in the uh, browser okay so we need to position the background in the way that it fits perfectly within our 60 by 60 um, uh, sort of area and that it shows the correct colors and things like that okay so we've got to position the background correctly so let's first focus on button one okay open bracket background position okay now here's where it gets 1% technical because to me sprites are pretty easy once you know what you're doing okay we need to set the background position of our image okay so what we do is in your uh, I'm going to minimize this so we can actually see what's going on okay you should see more now um, in your image okay if you click on the area where for example our red button is going to be there will be an X and Y positioning okay now this this button here is 10 pixels from the left and 10 pixels from the top of our canvas. So with the background position of button one, um, what happens is you set in two two numbers. So we've got minus 10 pixels and minus 10 pixels. Okay. The first number refers to the x axis and the second number refers to the y axis. Okay. So if I press save and we go to my browser press F5, you'll notice that now our sprite fits perfectly within the 60 pixel by 60 pixel uh, area that we've defined. We're still not completed with button 1 though. We still need to make a hover state. But before we do that, let's create button 2 just so you can see what's going on. We're going to um, basically move the background into the blue area uh, so it shows the blue button. Okay, so once again we click on the blue button here. We check the X axes and the y axis okay x is 90 pixels from the left and the position y is 10 pixels from the top so once again x and y we set that to minus 90 and the top is minus 10 let's see if that works press f5 there you go there's our blue button so anyway now we need to create the hover states so we take both of these control v and I mean control C control V and we set button 1 hover button 2 hover okay now at the moment it's just got the same background position as their standard states okay so we need to move the the background position we need to basically move it up when they hover so the background position does that okay so we need to get the the position basically of the two base images so we click on the first one which is button one it's pink the x axis is 10 and the y axis is 70 so once again x axis 10 so we go to the y axis type in 70 and if we go to the blue button the x axis is 90 and the y axis is 70 so as you can see there the x axis is 90 so again 70 put it in let's go to our uh, browser press f5 and if I've done it correctly, when I hover over one, it will show me a pink button which says number two. Dun dun. There you go. Very easy. Okay, so what I've basically done here is I've used one image for two elements. All I've done is um, place the background positioning in the correct manner. It cuts down load times and server requests. And um, I wouldn't be t teaching you guys this if I didn't think it worked perfectly. Well, brilliantly. We use it across the whole of the OBOX site. For example, um, this button here, our menus, our headers, and um, I think it's brilliant. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Catch you guys next time. Oh, and don't forget to check out Line 25. Cheers.